the last couple of months have been crazy and maybe most of you guys have tried yield farming to get some crazy gains in a market that's like really crazy. But the problem with these platforms is that it holds the risk of rug pulls but with the reward being so high, I myself decided to try and see if these platforms actually work. I do hope that this video ages well or at least for the next 30 days. Otherwise, you guys can learn from my mistakes which will make you a better investor. So without further ado, let's get started. Hey guys, welcome back to the channel where we talk about all things passive income related. And sometimes I do crazy experiments on different platforms so you don't have to risk your funds and probably can laugh at me if I crash and burn. I'm really gonna crash and burn up there. So there are many chains out there doing their own DeFi stuff and it's a really crowded space. And one might get confused easily, like there is PancakeSwap, there is Beefy Finance, there's Uniswap, there's MDX, and there are much more. And all these platforms falls under the umbrella of decentralized finance or DeFi where they act like a bank which facilitates borrowing and lending. So essentially, they are a bank but without a physical location or customer service. So to understand how these platforms are able to give high yields, first we have to look at how a bank operates. So a bank is a middleman for both the borrower and the lender. In this case, the lender puts a deposit with the bank of which they are promised a certain percentage of interest and the borrower can take up a loan with the bank at a set interest rate as well. So for example, if the lender deposits $1,000 and he gets a 10% APY in return for putting his money with the bank, the borrower on the other hand can borrow this $1,000 but the interest rate might be something like 15%. So now the difference is 5% of which the bank makes. However, these are all hypothetical but the bank rates are really less than 1% in the current times. And this is only one portion of DeFi, which is borrowing and lending of funds. So the function of a state bank is to facilitate currency exchange. And this is where DeFi makes everything interesting. So on a DeFi platform like PancakeSwap, which is an automated market maker or an AMM, they facilitate the trading of digital assets without permission. And these are all done automatically by using liquidity pools instead of traditional markets of buyers and sellers like how a bank would usually do. What this means is that you're able to immediately swap tokens on the fly without KYC and all you need is to have a MetaMask wallet or a DeFi wallet to do these transactions. On top of that, if you're providing liquidity by depositing into liquidity pools, you do get some interest for creating liquidity for the AMM to work flawlessly. So this can be a potential source of passive income which we will cover throughout this whole video. So by providing liquidity, we can earn some income, but because each DeFi protocol is different from one another, the tokens you earn will be very, very different as well. Like in PancakeSwap, you can earn cakes by providing liquidity in their liquidity farms like the Cake BNB LP, which will give you an APR of 43%, which is paid out in cake tokens. And by using these cake tokens, you can stake it for 73% APY, which essentially you'll be printing money. Rich. Rich what? But most recently, I chanced upon Kronos or the CRO chain. Previously, I did an unboxing of their card and their exchange as well. And now they have some projects on the DeFi space which are providing promising returns. So Kronos is the native chain for CRO token and they have been making big news headlines. So they bought a naming deal for the Staple Stadium, which was like $700 million. And moving forward, it will be known as the Crypto.com Stadium instead of the Staples Stadium. So what this shows is that someone has got huge crypto gains and decided to make a statement loud enough for the whole world to know. So although the spending of $700 million might make them popular, but Crypto.com is already well known for their crypto card, which enables users to spend their cryptocurrencies at retail shops and at the same time earn CRO tokens as they spend it. So I myself, I do have the card as well, but if you're looking to get one, I'll leave a link in the description down below. 
So enough of Crypto.com, let's talk about the DeFi protocol that I put my money into. So on the Kronos network, there are a few protocols that you might want to try, like VVS Finance, which I'm using, and there's also CoronaSwap, Crodex, PhotonSwap, Elk Finance, ChronoSwap, EmpireDex, and NX Finance. I would say that they are probably similar to each other, but one thing that you can look out for is the volume of tokens that each platform has. So based on DEX screener, you can see that VVS Finance token has the most volume and hence that is why I'm putting my money in there. However, this is not saying that the other platforms are bad, but I prefer to go with tokens that have more volume and also single asset staking instead of liquidity pools. Because it's just the way I am, I am not a big fan of liquidity pools, but I don't mind staking. So on VVS Finance, it looks very similar to other DeFi platforms if you're familiar with them. We have a trade tab which allows us to swap between tokens or to provide liquidity. There's an earn tab which has farms and mines, a dashboard that shows your current assets and yields, and analytics to show you some stats about the platform. And lastly, the three white dots which are the white paper and miscellaneous stuff. So I read the white paper and in summary, there are four ways that you can earn money from this platform. So first is by swapping or essentially trading on this platform. Second way is to provide liquidity through liquidity pools. The third way is to stake VVS tokens through their staking mines. And the last way is for an upcoming IGO, which I think is going to be similar to an IDO for new projects to list on their platform. So we'll jump to the computer so it's easier for me to show you a step-by-step -step on how to get this started. But before we go into the step-by-step, -step, I just want to put it out there real quick that these platforms are really risky. I do have money in there, so somehow or rather, I might be biased, but always do your own research and your due diligence before putting money into any platform. So first things first, you need a Crypto.com account. If you don't have one, there's a link in the description where you get $25 USD bonus if you stake at least $500 worth of CRO tokens. The next thing you need is MetaMask and some CRO tokens. So CRO tokens are like BNB for the Binance Smart Chain. All transactions will be done in CRO tokens and they cost roughly 10 cents per transaction. So if you look at a platform, you'll kind of figure that it's really jam related because you'll see things like BlinkSwap when you click on trade, Crystal Farms where for the LPs, Glitter Mines for your staking of your native token. But let's take a look at the APYs that they're giving for the different LPs and staking and I'll try to make some sense of it for you guys. So the platform is vvs.finance. So over here, when you first land onto the page, you're able to see a few things on the screen. And if you look at the artwork, they're all pretty jam related because if you look at trade, it's called Blink Swap. If you look at Earn, it's called Crystal Farms. If you look at Mine, it's called Glitter Mines. Um, it's very jam related kind of thing. So under the earn tab, we'll look at the farms first. So under farms, they have um, eight different farms right now where the APR ranges from, I think what, 34%, 40% all the way to 1003. So if you are staking VVS and USDT LP with $100 USD, you're gonna get $34,000 in one year, which is pretty insane. Like really insane. But that makes no fucking sense. So let's say if you're interested into putting some LPs into um, any of these farms, one way to do it is to go to the trade um, under liquidity. You're able to add liquidity and to select which tokens you want. So it could be CRO with ETH. Um, so for every, for every ETH that you put in, you have to have 4,767 CRO tokens. So this will form one CRO ETH LP, which you can then put it into the farm and you will earn a 281% APY. So it's pretty straightforward. Um, the rewards will be then given in VVS tokens, which will bring us to the second point when you are when you have your rewards already in VVS tokens, you are able to put them into the glitter mines, which is something that I'm doing. So in the glitter mines, the cards are full of bling bling. Uh, when you stake more VVS, you get more VVS as well. 
So over here, um, if you're staking VVS, there are two options. One is the auto and one is the manual. So under the auto itself, uh, you can see that it is a 16,000% APY, which is super insane right now. And if you do a base calculation of um, 100 USD, you're going to get roughly 16,000 in a year. So right now I have roughly um, $180. It was, I started with $150 and then it went down to like $120 as I was preparing for this video. And then it went up to $180. So if I place it for a year, I will probably get $30,000. Um, in 30 days, I'll get half my money back, which isn't so bad. Um, still looking forward to the next 30 days. No idea what's going to happen. Um, but please do drop a like for the $150 that I might lose. No idea if that's going to happen, but yeah. And then we have the dashboard, which is the next tab. So the dashboard shows you how much you have in the farms, how much you have in the mines. Um, over here, you can see this is what I have right now. Uh, I'm not going to lie. This is what I actually have. Uh, if you press this claim button on the bounty, you will claim the rewards for everybody else. Um, but you will end up using some CRO tokens. You can do it if you want. Um, otherwise, you could just leave it alone as well. Um, no hard feelings if you don't claim the rewards for me. I won't feel sad about it. And then we have the analytics tab. So the analytics tab tells you um, what are the top five tokens here, the top pools that people are using right now. So you can see that um, Red Bitcoin and Red CRO is ha has the highest liquidity at like what, 250, 249 million dollars. Um, Red CRO and Red ETH as well, um, 250 million um, liquidity right down there, which is pretty healthy. And then you can see the different transactions that happened within the last few minutes. So 45, 47 minutes ago, someone swapped CRO for VVS, which means they bought, yes, buy VVS people, not shilling, but yeah, buy VVS people. And then uh, we have the final one, which is the last three dots. Um, you can see the documents, the code, the community. Um, if you want to do a bit more research, these are the places that you can find the interesting stuff. Um, to be honest, I'm not an expert with code, um, but someone did tell me that this could be a rug pull. I have no idea if it's going to be, but if I do lose that money, uh, I'm mentally prepared. Like, yeah, I'm mentally prepared for that. But nonetheless, um, you know, we'll just go back to the studio and I'll see you there. So though the APY seems really high, there are a few things that can affect the APY. So the first thing is when more people start staking VVS as well, the APY will drop uh, because if you think of it like a cake, if there are more people taking a slice from the cake, there will be lesser for everyone else. And number two is the price of VVS. And because the APY is so high, we are constantly printing money in some sense. And when the whale dumps VVS, which can cause the price to fall as well, but I'm bullish on VVS Finance because they are the first automated market maker that is launched on the Kronos chain. And if you think about it, PancakeSwap was something similar. And if things go well, we could see the trajectory that PancakeSwap has happening to VVS Finance as well. But back to the two options that we have here, which is auto and manual. In auto, the system does the auto compounding for you. And the second one is manual. So I'm kind of lazy, so I went with the auto mode. Um, there is a claim button here that you can manually click, but because I intend to do as little as possible for this platform, I'm just going to leave it there. So let's do something fun and mark down to this date, which is the 24th of November at the time of recording. So by the time this video goes out, it will probably be a couple of days later. But let's check in again after a week or so to see if I made my money back or if I have lost it all. And I really do hope that this ages well as well because it's my money there, then yeah. But do not take this as financial advice as I'm doing an experiment and always do your own research before putting money into any investment. But once again, thank you guys so much for watching my videos. I really appreciate it if you could drop a like for the $150 that I might lose. Um, subscribe if you're new to the channel, turn on notifications, and I'll see you next Monday, Wednesday, and sometimes Friday.